What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a little bit more of a special video. This is a video purely focusing on the fundamentals we have next week. Next week we have some very important economic fundamentals and we'll get to the screen in a moment, but I just wanted to start it like this. Um, we'll get to that in, in, in a moment, but next week we have some very important things. We have the inflation rate and the interest rate, and those are going to make the market move a lot and they have already made the market move we'll talk about that as well uh, but the main point of this video is just uh, explaining to you what to expect uh, and also what to watch out for so let's get right into it uh, hopefully this all goes uh, correct excuse me there you already saw my uh, my screen and there i am welcome um so the first thing we're going to do is uh for this i will take a look at the chart of bitcoin but uh, usually in events like these uh, the market moves with a correlation of one. So that means that the market moves almost the same. Uh, the, 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 like how much it moves depends on the market cap and the volume and the volatility, uh, but it, it moves the same. Um, so what I wanted to do first is, uh, is, is explain to you what's going on. So we have the inflation rate coming out on Tuesday. And if you want to look all of that up, just go to myfxbook.com and click the economic calendar up here. And then you probably have to filter. So um, I'm not sure how I filtered uh, right here. And you filter to only high and medium and you uh, and only the, the, the good currencies, right? Uh, so what we have is Tuesday. This is all GMT plus one. Tuesday in the afternoon, we have the inflation rate. Very important. Maybe the most important event. And then we have the interest rate uh, for Wednesday. So the inflation rate, the, the rule is the higher the inflation rate, the worse it is for crypto. So what we've seen during the last two months is that the inflation rate has actually dropped down year on year. Month on month, it's still growing, but year on year, it is uh, growing less rapidly or it is kind of cooling down, which is great for crypto for multiple reasons. First of all, a high inflation rate is just bad for consumers. Uh, they get scared, they spend less. So that's bad for crypto because you buy less crypto, you need it for groceries and energy. Uh, but apart from that, it's also if the inflation rate is lower, they also need to increase the interest rate with less. Because usually what they do is when the interest uh, inflation rate goes up, they increase the interest rate. So to, to discourage people from spending money and therefore to bring the inflation rate down. So if the inflation rate doesn't go up anymore, they don't have to increase the interest rate anymore. And if the interest rate is going lower, that's good for risk on assets like stocks, like crypto, all of that, because a higher interest rate is just bad. Because if you have that, it's, it's way better to just have the, it, it might be safer to keep your money on the bank because you get some interest rate on that than to invest in risky assets. So that's the entire story. Now, the main thing, I mean, so we have already seen last month that the inflation rate was lower than expected. So what happened then is, uh, is, is crypto actually became a little bit more bullish. Uh, first of all, I think we had like this move maybe, or this move. I'm not actually sure. Uh, but the reaction to that, or, or, or it was right here, uh, but the reaction to that was that we actually went up a little bit during the last, um, during the last few weeks, because what they said at the Federal Reserve, who's making the uh, interest rates, is they said, all right, we're going to increase it by less. So now it's going up by 50 base points, whereas previously it went up by 75 base points. So that was already bullish, and that, that is something we have already seen. That's why we are, have started this bullish momentum from here. So now the, the, the thing is, is we are going to get new inflation rates and, ba and, and that's also going to, uh, going to change what happens at the interest rate because it's not only important what the decision itself will be, it's even more important because this will probably be, be what it will be, 4.5%. It's more important to look at the long-term projections and at the press conference. What do they say? Do they think they need to increase it even less? Do they think they, they need to keep it stable or maybe decrease it, which would be very bullish because as I said, the higher the interest rate, the higher the inflation rate, both of those, the worse it is for crypto. So that's going to be the most important part and the inflation rate plays into that because the outcome of the inflation rate will heavily influence their thoughts about what to do with the interest rate. All right, so the inflation rate, the most important thing is, uh, is inflation rate year on year and the CPI. If those are higher than expected, that's bad. And crypto is probably going to crash. So for Bitcoin, that would probably mean something like this, at least something like this, down to 16,300. But we have a great possibility though, that if it is actually lower than expected, 
or maybe as expected because that is still good um, then we actually have the possibility of breaking above 17,000 getting up to 17,600 which is a major resistance level and breaking above that to get back up to 18,000 all right so there's a lot at stake and a lot of movements and again all the all, all the other cryptos will probably move along with this um, and then we get the uh, interest rate. We're probably not going to see uh, huge movements right here, except for if it actually is, is different than this. If it's actually 4.25, for example, we'll get up to 18,500. <laughs> All right, so a, a lot of things are possible. We can actually have a big rally, but it depends on the fundamentals. It more so depends on the press conference. If they say there that they are actually going to increase it even less or that they're going to keep it stable, expect a move like this because that's bullish if they say that they will keep increasing it by uh, 0.5 percent it's probably bearish and we will probably drop back down uh, for example if the inflation rate actually was lower than expected went up to 18,000. if they say they're going to keep increasing it we'll drop back down so a lot at stake i will also cover this in my bitcoin and ethereum videos uh, tomorrow and the days after so if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe and, and follow those videos uh, but for now that's my take and everything you need to know heading into this week my uh, my face cam is also getting a little bit blurry now uh, so take care enjoy your sunday and bye